Okay, the next deadly error, mixed constructions. Simply that means the two parts of the sentence are mismatched in some way. And the result is you usually have to revise the sentence whole scale. So let's look at this one. For drivers who, had a, who have a blood alcohol level of 5%. So here we have a very long prepositional phrase. Preposition for, object of preposition, drivers. But what happens is with these long constructions especially, is that you kind of lose sight or have a tendency to lose sight of basic grammar. Subject, verb, object. Subject, linking verb, predicate. So let's correct it. For drivers who have a blood alcohol level of 5%, the risk of an accident is double. You have to revise these mixed constructions. Drivers who have a blood alcohol level of 5% double their risk. And what both of those do is provide the sentence a concrete subject and finite verb that is otherwise missing in the mixed construction. Another example. When a country elects a new president is the most important test. Wait a minute. That's a relative clause. Subordinate clause cannot be the subject of a sentence. So that is a mixed construction. The subject and the verb do not coincide to form meaning. Electing a new president, that's that. A participle can be a subject, is the most important test of a democracy. Although the U.S. is a wealthy nation, but one third of its children, well, you've got a coordinated conjunction there. And a coordinated conjunction cannot link a subordinate clause with a main clause. A coordinate conjunction can link two main clauses because they're the same, they're in parallel but they, it cannot link disparate elements like subordinate clause and a main clause. So you would rewrite to, although the U.S. is a wealthy nation, one third of its children. Let's look at one more. In the first method, children learn to recognize entire words. However, then by the second method in which they learn to sound out words phonetically. Now, this happens a lot in the writing of students who are kind of losing control. It also happens when students are trying to put together two important parts, two separate sentences into one sentence, but they don't know how. And they end up using phrases like than by, an adverb phrase, and phrases like in which, prepositional phrase. It's like they're really trying hard to do sentence combining, but they don't have the tools. And so that's why I spent eight weeks with you on sentence combining so that whenever you want to combine two sentences, you have the tools to do it. In this case, we would say in the first method, children learn to recognize entire words, semicolon, however, in the second method. And notice how the use of the semicolon and the however set up a good parallelism so that the construction is no longer mixed. We have two equal elements on both sides. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And for the other videos on the other five deadly eras, please check out this playlist right here.